through AI, you could do market studies. They could go through all these different websites like you and I, when we did it for this magic zip code, which when I went there last year in Phoenix, it was very impressive for me to see that these RALs near to the Mayo Clinic, which is one of the top in the whole Phoenix area or in Arizona, maybe even, <clears throat> you know, it's a magic zip code where the RALs, uh, residential assisted livings are 100% occupied. And my consultant, she also has four of them. So I wanted to buy something where she tells me. See, so you can mitigate risk by reaching out to the professionals, make some relationship with them so that they are your eyes and you read their what they are telling you. Like another deal came, by the way, 11 bedroom and seven bath, seven bath, uh, 1.8 million. But we could we were going to put an offer for 1.4 million, you know, and the person bought it for 999, something like that. Anyway, nice, you know, but the thing is, it was in Scottsdale. But my operator, my consultant, Lori said, Vinnie, no, there is it's a right smack in the middle of neighborhood. There are there's no parking that much. And, you know, for 10 seniors, their you know, families will be coming and this and that. And the neighborhood is okay. So I backed out right away. So the thing is, I was ready to put an offer, by the way. I sent everything from the broker, listing agent. I was copying and pasting it to Lori. She was in a meeting. And I said, you know, I'm not going to make a decision until she blesses the location and why we should go ahead or not go ahead. So it's so good to really have good team members, uh, you know, and so on. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a big part of it, too, is that, um, you know, like with without the right person on boots on the ground. Yeah, you need the team around you to help you because they have experience in this segment, in this that's market. True. They know what's good, what's not good. And so, yeah, if you can yeah. find that person in whatever the business or, or industry you're, you're working in. Yeah, that's the key. Right. Because it's like you're not you're not just making your own assumptions. You're learning from somebody that's doing it in the market. 